In the world of Greek mythology, the relationships between gods and mortals often lead to fascinating tales of transformation and power. One such story is that of Canis and Poseidon, as recounted in Ovid's Metamorphoses, Book 12. According to Ovid, Canis was originally a girl named Canis, who ultimately yielded to the sea god Poseidon and was rewarded with the male sex and invulnerability. This transformation and connection between Canis and Poseidon has captivated scholars and enthusiasts of Greek mythology for centuries. The story of Canis and Poseidon begins with Canis, a mortal woman known for her great beauty and wisdom. According to Ovid, Canis caught the eye of Poseidon, the powerful god of the sea. In his infatuation with Canis, Poseidon offered her any reward she desired in exchange for her affections. Canis, wise beyond her years, requested to be transformed into a man, as well as to be granted invulnerability. Impressed by her request, Poseidon granted her wish, and Canis was transformed into a man, taking on the name Senus. The transformation of Canis into Senus is a pivotal moment in the story, as it demonstrates the power dynamics between mortals and gods in Greek mythology. The act of transforming a mortal into a deity-like figure highlights the influence and authority that gods held over mortals in ancient Greece. Furthermore, Canis's request for invulnerability reflects her desire to gain power and protection in a world where mortals were often at the mercy of the whims of the gods. The relationship between Senus and Poseidon is further complicated by the implications of gender and identity in Greek mythology. The transformation from Canis to Senus not only changes the physical attributes of the character but also alters their identity and place within society. Senus' newfound invulnerability and male sex grant him a level of power and authority that was previously unattainable as Canis, a mortal woman. This shift in identity raises questions about the fluidity of gender and the role of power in Greek mythology. The connection between Senus and Poseidon also raises questions about the nature of their relationship and the motivations behind Poseidon's actions. While Poseidon's infatuation with Canis is clear, the reasons behind his willingness to grant her request for transformation and invulnerability remain ambiguous. Some scholars argue that Poseidon's actions were driven by his desire to possess and control Canis, using his power to shape her into a form that suited his desires. Others suggest that Poseidon's actions were motivated by a genuine respect for Canis's wisdom and agency, leading him to grant her request as a sign of admiration.